In this video, we are going to cover how to boost FPS and reduce input delay by doing some important tweaks on your Windows in Fortnite Season OG. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video and without wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to disable the filter key settings of our keyboard. So for that, open up your Windows settings and search for filter and there you will find out you use filter key to ignore brief or repeated keystrokes. Open up your settings. Turn off all this option and most important go for use filter and turn off the settings from here. Now you need to go for use toggle keys and also uncheck this box from here and close out your window settings. On the next step you need to download Fortnite input delay and FPS pack on your PC. And for downloading it you need to join my discord server link in the description. Join my discord server after that go for this download tab and there you will find out Fortnite ultimate FPS boost and input lag pack. Now click on the download button and download this RAI file on your PC. Now right click and extract it here on your desktop using the same zip or WinRAR. After that here you will find this kind of uh, files on your PC after extracting this file. Now in the very first step here we got our high priority file for the Fortnite. So open up this folder. Inside here you will find our two files like default priority which is the default settings of your windows for the Fortnite and then high priority for the ultimate performance for the Fortnite. So double tap and install the high priority file on your windows and close out this folder. Now on the next step here we got our ooshelp10.exe file. So open up this application and basically you don't need to install it and this will help you to boosting your FPS. So here we go to interface of the O and O Shadow 10 plus plus administrator. Now in the very first step here you will find out the private settings. Then here we got over history and clipboard settings, app private settings and guys here we got multiple settings of this application. Now instead of doing the settings manually that is also harmful for your PC, I suggest you to go for this action button and just apply on the recommended setting which helps you to improving your performance and reducing the input delay in overall windows. So click on the apply on recommended settings. It will ask you for creating a restore point. Click on this no button because everything is safe. Now click on this close button and guys here you will go to this kind of the notification like you need to restart your PC for applying all these changes. Now click on this ok button and guys that's it. Now in the next step here we got our filter key setter that is one of the best application for reducing the repeat rate of your keyboard and help you to getting fast response out of your keyboard. So guys open up this application and here you will go to this kind of the interface. Now in the very first step here we go to the settings icon you need to go for the settings. Now go for ignore under and set it on the 0ms. After that, go for repeat delay and set it on the 250ms. Now go for repeat rate and set it on the 25ms. Once you're done, so here you will go to this 40.0 per second delay. Now you need to go for the flag icon, check mark on the on box, check mark onto the available, check mark onto the confirm activation. After that, uncheck all the other boxes. Now you need to go for when applied and set it onto the save to registry. Now on the next step, simply click on this OK button and this will apply all the settings on your keyboard. Now on the final and the last step, we are going to configure the HPET high precision event timer settings on our windows. So guys, for that, go for your windows search and search for device manager and open up a device manager on your windows. Now from here guys, you need to find out system devices options. So here we got our system devices. Click on the drop down and inside here you will find out this high precision event timer for optimizing your CPU and fixing the high CPU usage that is also the cause of the high input delay. So therefore guys, you need to disable this device from here. So simply right click here and disable this device from here. I already have disabled this device on my windows. After that, close out your device manager. Now you need to want to restart your PC there for all the changes to take effect. If this video helped out you, so please subscribe, drop a like on this video and let the next video peace out.